Now here's a story. There's a national mosque and a national cathedral is under construction. So would it be too much to ask the government to also build a national shrine? Well, the Human Rights NGO Forum for Equity is, uh, well, says it isn't only the right of traditional African believers, but also a facility that can benefit the country economically too. Prince Bagnaba Mba, who is president of the forum, joins us uh, for a bit more of this in the studio. Prince, uh, it's a pleasure to have you. Nice. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right. A nice afternoon to your viewers. Indeed. Now, okay, let, let, walk me through this. Where does it end? If we're going to have a, we have a national mosque, we're going to have a national cathedral, we should have a national shrine, then what? A national Buddhist temple? Where, where does it end? <laughs> it's not a Buddhist temple we're talking about. We're talking about traditional worship. A human being comes with the spirit and the soul. You must know where you're coming from in order to know where you're going. For so long, Christianity and Islam have taken our souls away. So there's the deed for us to have the real awakening of the African mind. Unless you know where you're coming from. Look at the Asian countries. Look at the Indians. Look at the Japanese. It's not always Christianity and Islam. All these things even came into the continent through conquest and slavery. Now, if any country wants to be really independent and have a real awakening and consciousness of moving forward, there's a need to go back to your roots. And you can't do without your roots. Religion is the root of every human being. So what exactly are you calling for? For everyone to be a traditionalist or for there to be some building constructed for those who are? Spiritualism is a choice. The belief in spiritualism is a choice. You don't enforce somebody. You appeal to the consciousness and the inner spirit mm. to accept what you want to say. Now, but if somebody for so long has gone, gone astray. You always say, this is the right way. Mm. If you want to come back, let's go back to it. Back to the basics. Without it, we'll keep on going astray. Right. You can never be, a copy cannot be as the original. Now, I don't think, I'm a Christian, but I don't think this country needs a, a national cathedral now. Why would I pay money for a national shrine? <laughs> if you can pay money, for a mosque. I don't pay. want to. If you can pay money for a mosque. I don't want to. Or a national uh, listing. I don't want to. It is also that we are not asking for so much. We are saying they give the land. It will come out in a way just as we started. Mm. The contributions of devotees or people who believe in it mm. will come about. It's not uh, the issue of uh, uh, majority. We are not talking about witnesses to parliament. Mm. We are talking about equity. What you do to a, mm. you must do to B. You see, in algebra, what you do to the left, mm. you do to the right. So that we have respect for all religions. Mm. When we have national occasions, why do you pour libations? Mm. You see, you can't run away from your roots. No matter how you speak English, you're not an Englishman. So let's talk about land. Where, where do you want your shrine to be located? Do you have any piece of land that you've got your eye on? Well, I'm not here as... A, a traditional uh, proponent or anything. But I'm just saying what ought to be done. You know, this is something when you throw it to the traditional council. We have the Wolomos and other things here in Accra. They said, look, this is what we are going to do. We know a place. Even when we feel that these are black brothers in the diaspora, want to come back home. They can always come and feel at home that, yes, we have purification from all the sins, the atrocities, all these things these white men have done to us for so many years. We're coming back to our roots. That's that feeling. It's like when you're going back to your hometown, then immediately you hit the road and you get home. There's that kind of new feeling you have that, yes, I'm home. Hmm. You know. Now, you are not calling for government to build a shrine for you. You are just asking for some land and then you raise the oh, funds yes. yourself. That's right. So, where do you stand on government building cathedrals and mosques? Do you agree with government's plan to build a cathedral, for instance? Let me tell you. People try to overhack issues. Even as a Christian that you claim to be, the Bible says, Seek ye the kingdom of God first, and all things shall be added unto it. If you can go to Jerusalem, 
if you can go to Mecca, if you can go to the so-called Holy Lands, what is wrong? If you have a place of national worship, that brings us together. God forbid. I tell Bill's died. It was not proper to be going to a public uh, place to do the service. You could have done it in a national cathedral. You know, it is not de denominational. It does not belong to one particular uh, church. This is where all Christianity comes together. You know, it, it calls for unity within the Christian body. Mm. So you see, I did this way when people come. You can walk to the cathedral, all without talking to anybody, and then pray within yourself mm -hmm. and get satisfaction that, yes, God is listening to me. You think at a time like this, when the country is broke, we're going to the IMF, we can't even build schools for our children. Yes. We can't build hospitals for our mothers. Do you think this is the time to be spending money on a cathedral? I'm not here to exaggerate situations. We are well, I'm asking your opinion, because no. you are calling for the same thing. Uh, I want you to understand that traditional schools religion. are being built. As we're saying, hospitals are being built. And the boss, you see, I always have one peculiar thing. People say, oh, church is everywhere. Meanwhile, when they have Ogogoro bars everywhere, they don't complain. You can never have enough of spirituality. And once you see it as a lesser issue, if it were to be a stadium or stadia, we'll, we'll say it's all right. If it were to be something for other amusement, but not for the spirit of God, we we'll say it's okay. There's nothing that is too much for God. And any nation that puts God first will always be first. And that's why America and other countries, no matter the atrocities they create, they are always advancing. Economic advancement is not your power. Then why, why is Ghana not advancing? Because we most certainly I'm telling you, God over young man, young man, let me tell you something. We have lived through this country many years ago. Ghana has advanced more than you can really expect. You see, it is right not to be content with what you are going through. Have you traveled through many of these African countries to see what is and compare it to Ghana? Ghana is not what it was in 1980s. Ghana is not what it was in 1990s. No All governments that have come have worked hard. You see, we have one peculiar thing that we do in this country. We don't respect leadership. And if we don't respect leadership, that is our problem. We have come far away. If at the end of the year... Let me explain that. Why do you say we don't respect leadership? Yeah. If you respect leadership, our press and our media cannot be based with insults. That any young man who succeeds in going to the radio station to insult the other political party is given an appointment. You know, they, are not, they have not been taught the basic ethics of politics. Politics is not insult. You know? What but, has that got to do with a, a cathedral or a shrine? A shrine? Look, let me tell you something about African shrine. It is based on purity and honesty. Forget about all those charities you see. They come from all these Christian and other religious practices that they want to imitate. A real African tradition, honesty it matters. If we are going to practice African religion, you cannot have African religion and go and steal. That's why I was saying that let all the member of parliament Wait, pick them me. before. Are you saying that before other religions came to Africa, there was no stealing? No. Let me tell you, they introduced stealing to us and then we started stealing. Let me tell you. And they introduced war to us. When they were everybody cared about his own little space. But when now they told you that you can use a gun, take your brother and make more money, then they started doing all those things. The African naturally is, look, let me tell you, there's no race that has suffered like the African race. How many years of slavery that you even want to run to Western countries because of deprivation? And even when you for, go for, anywhere. Forgive me, but you're saying that stealing was introduced to us? Oh, yeah, about the Western education. War was let me, Yes, let me tell us. you, even right now, corruption. How many in, in, innocent people, how many African religions who can cross these and uh, chase one to seven and other things to defraud and take government's money? But we have we have expressions that suggest that corruption has been part of us for a long no, time. That is why the you white man... Go, you don't go to a chief's house... That is why the white man taught you. That, that, is, is, that, is, that, that is what we call the brainwashing. the tenets of corruption? No, that's what we call brainwashing. You are not the original fellow there. I'm not even the original fellow I ought to be. One, he has stolen your language. You can't reason the way you, from where you come from. You reason in English before you, you speak. Actually, I don't. I, I reason. I think in Fanti. I'm yeah, you, so even Fantis, they are much more westernized because of contacts. You know, it is not their fault. You know? So you see, we are in a situation that we have to sit down and then 
get priorities right. Look, let me tell you, the Japanese, very disciplined. The Chinese, very disciplined. Look at uh, even the Indians, very disciplined. They don't have the same religion. Yes, but that is their religion. It it's is their just, culture. Not yeah, it's their culture, and that's the tradition. Culture, not religion. You stay up, you see, religion is the main root of culture. It is what you believe in. Without that, you can't go anywhere. So do we not all have the same culture? Oh, now, you see, when you are debased, you've been taken for granted, you don't know what you're doing, you're just like a puppet with the strings on your head, and they keep on telling you to dance all around. That's what is happening to African leaders. You know. So this shrine is hoping to turn all this around? This shrine is hoping to come that we should start even from the primary schools to teach African religion. How many primary schools in Ghana are teaching about African religion? They say, close your eyes, our father. They go to Islamic schools. We school in, in Ghana, in the primary school, that they said, this is a traditional African primary school. The indoctrination starts from birth. And they have somebody who has been indoctrinated. It's like a puppet. But you are a proponent of the African traditional religion. I why, am. Why have you and your colleagues not set up some private schools to teach African religion? Yes. This is the beginning of a milestone. A step is taken. The Starting with the national shrine. Yes. Consciousness comes about. You see, intellectualism or whatever you want to talk about, or spirituality, it goes by force. After so many years in exile, the call comes that you have to return back home. So I think it is about time. Even, I don't know, when you were young, we had Reverend Damwa with Africania Mission. It came about those days. Talking about libation and the issues of African religion, the respect for human rights, the respect for the woman, and the respect for the tradition and elders in our society. And if you dare mistakenly steal, then that will strike you. That was how I was saying that. If we have an African shrine, and even it's part of our constitution that if you are a member of parliament and they are going to be sworn in, let them go to the shrine and swear all of them before they pass out. You see, no, a lot of them will not like to go to that place. Well, it's been a fascinating look at the other side of things with you, Prince Bagnaba Mba. Nice between you and nice talking to you. Pleasure is because. ours. <laughs> all right, stay with us. More stories coming up. Uh,